This is the Jam Slunt Jumper Joink song. Get it at otfi.com slash jamslunt. That's J-A-M-S-L-U-N-T. All hey, one can word. Can just hear that intro, that iconic intro? Hi, everybody. It's me, Johnny Cash. The hey, cover. Hey, so I will not go. <laughs> and the lights off. Buddy Holly's old. do 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 is what I like to call Say It Ain't So by Weezer. <laughs> Come on! I am the sky. I'm keeping on your pie, Jeremy Pie. It's really good. That's how it goes. Do 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 Jumper joint. That's a landmine of a name. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Tear the lights off. Buddy Holly's old. Buddy Holly, Holly, do 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 do. Oh, can you get rid of this face though? Because Jam Slunt is just one word. We could do that. And that's the bonafide truth. Oh, hello, you beautiful bastards of the internet! You demon hordes, you come alive every Tuesday night because that means it has got to be go time for Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since anyone was paying attention. Hello, you beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas, joined as always by my BFF and OAK. It's JRY, Justin Robert Young. How the hell are you, sir? Oh, Brian! <laughs> Uh, what, what a what a what a hell of a week, man! We're having a great time here. We're all we're doing our famous <laughs> dance. A lot of people are on the front page watching us for the first time. We're doing our our, our little dance. We call Two Suns Rising. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, did you ever hear that thing when you were a kid that giving the OK sign was actually an insult because it meant asshole? Uh, because like it was like uh, the fingers were A S S. And they, like in second grade, you wouldn't say asshole because you're you get in trouble. You would just do that. But you would just do this, and you would say a s s, and then you would you would just mouth the word hole, but put your other finger through the hole to show that it's a hole. That it was a hole, an absence of space, which could be literally anything in a hole. Correct, correct. Uh, is that any, just me? any hole in the storm? As <laughs> they say, <laughs> this is not a shared experience. I'm gathering. No, this is the first <laughs> time I'm hearing. It. Okay, all right. Hey man, how you been? Oh, dude, man, I, I, uh, I, 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 I cucked myself. I'm, I, 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 <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> this word you're using. What? Yeah. Huh? I don't, I don't think it means what you think it means. Yeah, no, I, I, uh. You stood in the I, corner uh, weeping while you watched yourself having sex with your wife. No. <laughs> you stood- Wait, is that what that means? <laughs> to cut yes. yourself? Yeah, yeah, yes. No, it's a colloquial thing. It's like yeah, not, it doesn't always mean cuckold. Uh, you're you're well, saying cuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 time out, time out, time out. Is that, uh, wait, what, what other body of you? Uh, what other cuck? Uh, 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 cuck-a-doodle-doo? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> did you cuck-a-doodle-doo? Did the sun rise, Justin? Are you confused? Maybe the sun rose, and that's what you're thinking of. I was scratching around for grain at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and you ate a few worms. I might have eaten a worm or two uh, as I, uh, chewed it with my beak. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What do I... Is this a real thing, or is this a bit you're doing? No, I mean, well, I mean, this is a real thing. It it leads into a into a story, but yeah, no, all the kids they call it, uh, Bryce. You're a millennial or some shit. Uh, uh, what the? <laughs> you're, you're tw- Bryce, you're twelve. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the kids. The kids call each other cucks all the time. They're are you, are you taking back yelling cuck and uh, saying cuck, branding each other with cuck and stuff like that? <laughs> You know, I love I love the idea that somebody needs to insult a conservative by calling him a or no no insult a liberal by calling him a cuck and then it's just like no and it turns out he's an actual guy who's into cuckolding and he's like that's our word you don't yeah. get to take that from us we're taking it back and I we're love be real the, I love the delicious only confusion one way to, only one way to make it up to us and it's to fuck our wives in front of us none of this is paralleling reality for me. 
I don't think so, that was English. What? I heard parallelogram. Par- paralleling reality. Oh, got it. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Got it. So what did you do? To yeah. How did? How, how flexible do you have to be to cuck oneself? So, uh, you know, it's a lot of hips. Go uh, cuck yourself. You know, <laughs> Go cuck yourself. Your mother cucker. Yeah, l- let me help you out. <laughs> mother cucker is very complicated. First, you have to court your mother and get into a long-term relationship with her. Then you tell her you're going to leave the room, but you come back in wearing a mustache. She must think you're a different man Wait. than her son who she fell in love with. That's the only... It doesn't count as cucking your mother <laughs> unless she believes that you no. are a different man as you Not have sex even. with her. Oh, I feel like this is you awful. describing back to the future the way you remember it. <laughs> I need to be off screen. Especially <laughs> need to be off screen for this. Oh my goodness. No, well colloquially, cuck is like you're you're being less of a man, right? You are a beta male. You are you are a cuck, right? That's that's the colloquial term for it. And uh, and I did something I, I rejected the American dream by by giving up voluntarily my own car this week. Oh you chopped oh. off your dick. I did. Yeah, okay, that's that's not cucking yourself. That's 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 ch- that's becoming an unsullied. What? You you and that's, Grey Worm. That's not. I like Brian. Brian in my mind uh, puts his uh, puts his boot uh, uh, up on the the barbed wire of his farm, takes a a chaw spit into the ground, and says, "Well, son, that ain't cucking. That's gelding." <laughs> yeah, right. Oh it's like as a tumbleweed oh. rolls by. <laughs> Well, we do live in Texas, so yeah, it's yeah. But I imagine where you live, yeah. maybe not so bad. Well, I hope not, because I gave it away uh, for for free. <laughs> you know, this makes a lot more sense now, because when we were talking last week, like I, the phone rang, and I was like, Justin, and then because I saw your name on the caller ID, and there was yeah. just awkwardness. I was like, What's going on? You know, like I'm cutting off my dick, bro. And I was just like, well, don't do yeah. that. You're like, no, no, I think it's right. I'm going to cut off my Wait, dick. Wait, Justin said, said this that. phrase yeah, first? Yeah, I was like, hey, listen, guys, I know there's been a lot. There's been a long road of our relationship, <laughs> but I feel like you need to be here when I cut off my dick. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, well, so, uh, so what was the last straw that you pulled out of your wiener before you chopped it off? Well... So, uh, all right, it, 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 to, to kind of set it up, I live in the Bay Area. It's very easy to get around. Uber's very cheap uh, and only getting cheaper. Uh, there's, like, a bunch of other solutions to just pick up a car on the side of the road and drive it one way, stuff like that. Uh, so I just – I've had this desire to get rid of my car. It, car's been around for 10 years, 150,000 miles, hasn't really had any major – uh, uh, fixes to it, so I kind of feel like I'm due for at some point something's gonna fucking break, and and I'll be on the hook for a lot more. And so I just figured this was the time to kind of give it away. Or at first I wanted to sell it, and then uh, uh, nobody would buy my car. <laughs> Wait, uh, at at any price? No, all the dealerships wanted me to buy another car. Oh, they they would accept it in trade for some yes. mysterious amount. They would be like, they'd be like, hey, I'm like, hey, can you buy my car? And they're like, yep. What car do you want to buy? And Man, I'm like, I, I uh, would hate, no. I would hate to sound like a programmed shill, but but like that that Honda Accord commercial that we watched just in the pre-show, the yeah. next response was an entire ad from CarMax talking about how they will literally buy anybody's car for a fixed price that they will not negotiate on. Uh, uh, is there? Did you call CarMax? Nope. No. Wait, see, you just gave it away. Just gave it away to, for to, zero money. In fact, I gave it away to somebody that I almost immediately felt uh, uh, regret. Oh, what? No. Oh, you did get cucked. That was the right word. Well, yeah. I mean, no, I think I would enjoy it if it was happening. And I'm like, oh, oh. so dirty. <laughs> I, that's a good point. Good point. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, one eight seven seven cars for kids? K A R S cards for kids. Have you ever heard that? Uh, yeah, that's like a weird lawyer, right? I will guarantee you, you are gonna see the reaction in the chat. Bryce, can you cue up the one eight seven seven cars for kids <laughs> sure. jingle? Now, uh, 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 for the record, uh, and I, I mentioned this when he posted this on Twitter, I sold my, I gave my car away to cars for kids last year, hmm. and I had never heard the cars for kids jingle. Ever. You just were like, like I want somebody who misspells the word cards <laughs> yeah. and also has children. Uh, well, I wanted to help the veterans or the kids. I don't <laughs> well, know yeah, who yeah, it all yeah, goes yeah. Well, okay, or the, first whatever. of all, the, if those all, kids all are the veterans. child soldiers who've come back from war. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. We've got the... <laughs> You're not my real dad. At carsforkids.com. That's cars with a K. Pickup is quick and easy. You'll get a vacation voucher and maximum tax deduction. Wait, wait. So, vacation voucher? Yeah, there's what, like... What, what is this? What is what is this vacation voucher? This doesn't sound legit. So they give you like a hotel for like... Or they give you like a coupon for a hotel or... Like it's... it's. Did, did you get a coupon for a hotel? I think I got the option to, but it wasn't... It felt gross to take a hotel from kids... <laughs> while giving them your car. Why? No, I, I would imagine. I that's pretty so right here, uh, Brian, since, since, since you've never heard this, just, uh, uh, Bryce, just have that queued up. Uh, uh, because what you're seeing now in, in the chat room is the fact that they have a gigantic ad buy, specifically in major markets like New York and San Francisco and stuff, and they blanket radio with this mm -hmm. ad and television, late night television, with this ad. So people, immediately when you say you're going to donate your car to KARS Cars for Kids, people have this visceral, <laughs> their mind is melting reaction as if they are hearing. Uh, <laughs> 1877 Cars for Kids. Oh my God. KARS Cars for Kids. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Right. Uh, here's the so, thing. Those are completely privileged children. Like, they have yeah, they're straight bring, teeth. They're, they're, they're bringing anal back. They're... Oh. What? Jesus, you have to set that <laughs> up. That's a very oh, specific oh. reference. You can't just, you can't, you can't just like give the punchline. We're, we're in front of like a thousand people right now. <laughs> no, Not yeah, no, that, that the would. Free show. That, you're right. I probably should have given the backstory on uh, that. No, you got. I got to hit you with this. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You are not ready for some front page. <laughs> uh, uh, so here's the deal. I, I call them up and I'm like, uh, hey, I want to I want to give you guys my car. And they're like, OK, cool. Th this was like dead simple to do. Uh, I literally was walking to a bar to go do emails. By the time that I was getting my first drink, I had completely completed the, rea the, the, inter the transaction for them to come pick up the car. It was like that easy to do. Uh, at which point, I there was a confrontal about my title, so I had to call them. To which point, I made a horrifying realization, and it almost made me not donate my car to this organization. <laughs> was it that you weren't the legal owner of the car? Because that would keep me from donating it as well. <laughs> was not that I was not the legal owner of the car. I did own the car free and clear. It's that... Despite the fact that their customer service was intensely helpful, there was a moment in which they had to conference in the local tow truck driver to pick up the car. Oh, because so they, they, they shop it they, out. They put me on hold, at which point I heard... No, you didn't! Ah! donate your car today. They play the song during their own hold music. And I'm like, you are unconscionable monsters. If there is one place for which you should be free and clear of hearing that earworm that is there to make uh, everybody's brain melt and donate uh, the entire fleet of America's cars to this charity, it should be on hold when you're donating your car to the charity. Yeah, that's not cool. Uh it does sound like you cucked yourself. And yeah. so, so uh, okay, so you hear the song and you desire to just like hang up and be like, peace out. I'll just let the city take it or something. Yeah, I'll let the sea take it. And I pushed it into the ocean. <laughs> no, I said city, but I like the no, idea I know, of the I know. sea. I, thought, I, thought, uh, maybe, I don't know. I'm sure there's a city by the sea somewhere. Uh, I uh, no, yeah, I, I I almost just wanted to get into a fight with the lady who was like very helpful. She was like solving all the problems that I had, and I was I was at the DMV, so she was like telling me what to do, and I just wanted to be like, where the fuck do you get off? Like, what is your problem? This is disgusting. Okay, you so, be so shame. All right, now here's 
maybe the difference between the two of us because the moment yeah. I heard that, I'd be like, well, I have to unload this rage on somebody, and at some point, somebody's going to pick up the phone, and th I have something they want, therefore I have leverage over them, that, therefore they have to listen to whatever as I am about to say, and I think I would, I think I would have words about. All right, well, this. here, uh, how about how about this? How about I be the Cars for Kids operator? Sure. Uh, Bryce, you you play yeah, put, the, play uh, put, the song, back and, on and I'll come back from I'll come back from hold. Okay, yeah, okay. sure. Here, here we go. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, Brian. Yeah, you're you're on the phone. You got to put him on hold. Uh, oh no, I know. I know. Yeah, I'm waiting on to be on yeah. hold. Uh, no, you're the operator. You have to put him on hold. Oh no, no, oh. no, no, no. I'm I'm the operator. I'm the oh. operator. Brian's calling. He's he's gonna be. Gotcha. Uh, oh, as if uh, I were a more assertive me. This motherfucker. This is, no, kids, swear to God. I, if, they, if they don't pick up this phone, I'm gonna push it into the sea. I swear. <laughs> also, oh, oh, I'm being cucked. Okay, no, I'll, I'll make sure to use that on my live stream. Everybody will know what I'm talking about. It won't be weird. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, yes, no, double, double, uh, Bach. Uh, <clears throat> uh, hello, uh, car, cars for kids. Hey, uh, hi. Yeah, I, I, you want my car, right? You, uh, you... Sure, we love uh, we love cars. Okay, we feed uh, them to these kids. Well, I mean, you have a funny way of showing it, since I called you to give me your my car to you for the kids, cars for kids. Uh huh. And you you play that song. Do you like that song? Can you sing what that song? song? What song? <laughs> it's <laughs> Checkmate, motherfucker. I hang up. I'm out. Now you have to call back. Now you have to go and wait again. <laughs> no, no, I won't sing it. I mean, it's just so vague, though. Like, what do these cars do for children? Because children can't drive. Kids oh, uh, so can't uh, drive you, cars. You want to know what it is? I actually Checkmate. looked it up. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't some like weird gun running thing. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a Jewish outreach charity. Really? Huh. I'm okay with that. Yeah, no, I was like, it's like, what a lot of people won't know is that this is an outreach charity for Orthodox Jews. And I'm like, okay, I don't know, man. I like Jews. Jews are cool. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go. Get my money, Jews. <laughs> God. Uh, and get cucked while you're at it. I, 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 K-U-C-K cuck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a shotgun. What? Yep. <gasps> Is that a assault rifle? That's oh. an assault rifle? Oh, <laughs> oh so good. Oh, pretty so you excited. Have a, so if, if if people don't know, Brian flies the, the house has flies sometimes. <clears throat> yes, that, because yeah. I have I have dogs that are let in and out constantly, and I have daughters who are not very attentive to the opening and closing of the doors, mm -hmm. and I have a wife who insists on buying fruit. Uh, How dare she? I mean, that's oh, look. One of these fruit. is reasonable. All the rest <laughs> yeah. are travesties. Okay. <laughs> I love the doors being open all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, fresh uh, air means a fresh <laughs> life. <laughs> and so finally, I uh, uh, we were at this. Uh, uh, well, here, Brian. Can you can you uh, full screen, Brian, uh, so you can uh, show us how that works? Well, so uh, okay, so I'm at I'm at this bar, and uh, uh, Penny is going to have some uh, food. And she needs some salt. And so I go up to the bar and I'm like, hey, you have salt from a daughter who I brought to the bar who has noodles. And they're all like, yeah, but we use it to kill flies. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Wait, <laughs> and, uh, I, and, and, a, a worker at this restaurant said, yes, we have salt in this gun that we use. No, well, okay. <laughs> That's the thing is they're all like, they're like, no, no, don't worry. It's sterile. And I'm thinking to myself, are these going to? Because I've heard of these, right. like, are they just gonna fire it into a bucket? Which I think you could do. Which I think you could do. Yeah. Possibly, but, but but still, still, it's kind of gross that this this fly plastic, killing thing is hygienic. the place yeah. we were gonna you know shoot the food to, for whatever. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, but they're so like, like no, how no, do you no. how do you uh, just just point like how what's the action on it? Uh, oh, I mean, just, 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 you do that. So you just you, you cock so you just, it and then you you, you, you pull the up and you motherfucker, you've got one as well. You just you do like like that like that's like how you that's how you use the that's how you use the gun. Uh, Where did you get yeah. yours from? I mean, they're everywhere, dude. Uh, this is and by the way, I hope my brother has stopped watching because this is everybody's Christmas gift. If yes. you're watching Jay, don't tell anyone. 
Uh, Wait, what are you doing with tinfoil? <laughs> uh, get ready. I'm demonstrating. Oh. Look at this. Look, get ready. Get ready. Ready and... Oh, jeez. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And incredibly, uh, we're doing some very real science on Twitch.tv today, people. <laughs> this is heavy duty stuff. No, it's it's a shotgun blaster of freaking of freaking salt that kills flies, and it's the best thing on the planet. Yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, 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 Ashley, my wife, who is Twitch.tv slash Fake Gamer Girl and does cooking streams, she uses this to cook. She what? shoots salt into into the dishes uh, oh uh, uh, during the uh, during the stream. Okay, so this so is funny. this is a good question though because does it mean like like once she like if she catches you shooting flies with it, does it sully this for food use? Like, like it's like what this gun has seen, it can never unsee. <laughs> it can never return to its civilian life. Like okay, so if I told you this gun has killed a hundred thousand flies and yeah. one time it shot dog turds and one time <laughs> it uh, uh blasted maggots old <laughs> maggot blasting uh, uh you're you're are you still cool with using that to season your your vegan dishes i mean like it didn't like crush the maggots or the dog poop it's, or the flies right it shot projectiles out of the out of the the the, the, the gun right I mean, in theory, that logically makes sense. I'm, so wait, I'm, so why, so wait, for you, it is it is disqualifying to ever use in food if you've shot a fly with if it? If you could see Bonnie and the Invisible <laughs> Wife's face right now, you would have your answer. Because clearly, Bonnie is uncomfortable. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie is like already. This has shot enough flies. Yeah. Seven, by the way. That that Bonnie's like not ever gonna allow me to salt our food with it. No. Period. Why? What's the? I mean, like you know that it's ridiculous, right? I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. What? What say you, Bon? I say that if you could see this gun in action and how the fly splits apart, you know there's oh. bristle just going everywhere. So all you're, over the you're gun saying there, there's enough fly over. mist that poofs yeah. out that you know it's all over it, yeah. and it's uh, it's cooties. It's cooties. It's cooties. It's oh, if that's the kind of shit that worries you, like uh, 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 there's a, there's some hard truths about the food industry that you really need to wrap your head around. Oh, like, oh, this brings me to the food industry. Do you know there's a lot of restaurants that I won't eat at because of their um, because they're constantly shooting flies with their salt guns. Yeah, and then and then immediately yeah. turning around and using it to to uh, make their pasta tastier. No, I've decided that like like it really bothers me. Like hygiene, like if the people that deliver your food like lack hygiene, yeah, then then it's like, oh my god. But so so if they're fly murderers, you want them to use like their hands and swap yeah. them no! with hands and then exactly. prepare your food only, instead only, of only a sanitary. With their big no, hands, can you slap a fly? <laughs> I'm just gonna take that fly and I'm gonna slap you with my big strong hand. Because uh, it's, it's not a salt baseball bat, right? It's a it's a distance. Yeah, no, yeah, you you can hit from like four to six feet away. Like I I uh -huh. I would say like not not your face, but but the and I'm not aiming at your face because it says here do not shoot in Please face don't or do eyes. That. Don't shoot in the face. All right, so yeah. put it right up to uh, Bryce's face. Just right but up but to I'm, to I'm not going to shoot because it says <laughs> not do not shoot. Shoot, can't shoot. All right, okay, uh, but, but all right, if here, I, like uh, Bryce. Uh, uh, if you were to, Bryce if you were to sing, legit just, not comfortable. With I I don't think you should point anything I know I at anybody. All right, no, Bryce, Bryce, no, no, no. Just okay. play the play the Cars for Kids song while Brian points the gun at your face. All right, here we go. In three, Keep, two, it one, go. Keep it playing. Keep it playing. All right, listen. All right, listen. I'm gonna start walking. You count to a thousand. If I don't hear that song, you're all dead. You understand? It's a ten-minute loop. It's great. All right. Here we go. One. Two, three, <laughs> Patreon.com is where you can support this show. Patreon.com slash Night Attack is the exact uh, website where you can go ahead and give us uh, whatever you uh, have in your wallet. Uh, Br Brian and I will both shoot you in the face with the salt gun. Because, no, no, no. Uh, we, we shoot you in the face with all the comedy stylings available here at Night Attack. Absolutely. And if you either uh, begin donating or change your pledge, uh, you put yourself in the running each and every week for the... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack. New Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of... <laughs> 
Uh, all right, man. I, I'm going to let you choose this time, Justin. Oh, okay, cool. E or J? Uh, JD or EA? I'm going to go with uh, uh, EA. It's in the game. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, <laughs> man. You picked a bad week to back EA. <laughs> did, did you hear also, about yeah, not how good. Uh, did you hear oh, about Oh, yeah, the, the Battlefront thing. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out they're not good at uh, uh, selling games. No, huh? but you heard it right here, Twitch. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but Justin loves EA. He, he chose EA over anything else. <laughs> Uh, man, I would like to think this person is in the middle of defending... No, 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 prosecuting. No, defending. Defending or prosecuting, Justin? Uh, public defender. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's haggard. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I'd like to think he's done his best, but, uh, but, but it looks like this client is just, just letting him down and being, looking guilty as hell. And, and, and even though he doesn't know how he can afford it, we want to thank you for your $1 pledge. Edgar Almaguer. 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 Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume that the the defense has rested and the prosecution is making their case right now, and he's so wound tight. That he put in his earbuds and he's just yeah. thinking, man, I just got to center myself. I'm going to listen to a little bit of Night Attack. So this is your one chance, Justin, to set yeah. his head straight. Hey, Edgar, it's me, the voice of law. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But voice of law, it's me, the voice that hangs around with the voice of law. What's going on, voice of law? We're talking to Edgar? Yes. The paralegal to the voice of law. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no. The voice of law himself. <laughs> hey, listen up, man. Nobody messes with the voice of law. You hear that, Edgar? Edgar, no. he knows what's up. I've come down with my ruling. You're the tits, Edgar. <laughs> Uh, uh, hey, as uh, as Edgar's uh, as as the voice of law's paralegal, I just want to say sometime he, you know, doesn't really think of what's appropriate to say in the middle of a courtroom. <laughs> That's the problem with the voice of law, old man. Edgar, law. I object to my previous statement. I think you're the best tits. <laughs> Okay, um, the voice, the voice of law. We've talked about this. I know you're the voice of law, but maybe you should read the law if you're gonna be the voice of the law. This is not sustained, so sustained, <laughs> paralegal. I resubmit my objection. You're the big fat swingingest tits. <laughs> the voice of the voice of law. It's really, it's not working. Thank you, Lady Brains One. Um, Thank you. This, uh, listen, the voice of law. You got to do me a favor, and I just need you to just, just sort of uh, keep it, keep it polite. Play. Thank you, Babcat. You're cute Babcat, as always. You're so cute. Uh, just try again, try again, voice of law. You can do this. I am the voice of law, and after a long deliberation, I'm here to say that you, Edgar, being of sound mind and body. <laughs> Are the big, big fat, fat milkiest, milkiest swinging this best up tits I ever seen? Voice of law! <laughs> they ha! Gavel it out! <laughs> Gavel All right. it out! <laughs> All right, good. listen. Uh, Edgar, we hope you've enjoyed the voice of law. He's not going to be around anymore. Uh, turns, uh, turns out, out that I'll, I'll be the pro tem uh, uh, voice of law <laughs> until <laughs> next time. Thank, Thank you, Spin Dash 12. Thank you, Spin Dash. Thank you, Spin Dash. You're so cute. So cute. Uh, uh, hey, by the way, uh, we got a ton of people watching us right now. If you're seeing us for the first time and you like any little bit of what you're uh, seeing, go ahead and give us an old uh, follow. Click through to our page, follow us up, and we will follow you until we all die <laughs> <laughs> thank you your man jab you're so thank cute. you your man jab you're so cute <laughs> all right so are we are we feeling it is it go time to uh to begin? thank you shane ross thank you for subscribing thank you thank you thank you thank you we're gonna very murder much. you we're gonna mur oh airtail ducky we're gonna murder you thank <laughs> you we're gonna shank <laughs> you <laughs> Oh, you're gonna be dead, aren't you? You're the best. You're so cute. Wow. The cam girl took a turn. I see you. Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna kill you. Oh, we're gonna murder you. Yes. Thank you. Make sure to send us your home address. Oh, God. This is definitely Please against don't. the TLS. No. Okay. All right. Uh, think... All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what you are about to see right now on.
And uh, this very stream is uh, our uh, maybe one of the greatest uh, things we've ever done on this or any other incarnation on this show. Uh, it is the world's only and most powerful out advice show. It is where uh, 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 yeah. Brian and uh, the, uh, Sarah Lane, who I don't know if she realizes that she came right in on the live stream, uh, <laughs> chill. Take your real problems. We will synthesize them, and we will call you tonight uh, with the way to solve them. But first, here is our guest. She can be heard on Daily Tech News Show. She is the one and only Sarah Lane. Huzzah! Sarah, come back! Hi! Hi! Oh, my goodness. Sarah Lane, it's been far too long. It's been, it's been forever. We missed you. It's been kind of like... Sorry, I'm... I'm going to turn this down a little bit so I don't look so weird. <laughs> uh, no, I agree. It has been too long. It's been great. <laughs> it's great to see you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Are, are, are you feeling it? Do you, do you feel like we need to loosen up? Should we practice? Should we get I mean, it's like we're a band that got back together and it's been like, what, two years, three years since our last gig? In a while. Yeah. A couple years. I mean, okay. Okay. So one of the things I wanted to ask was, are we actually rhyming? <laughs> well, we so like... all right. <laughs> Yesterday, I was trying to drum up uh, uh, excitement for the return of problems. We, by the way, for the for new people to this show, we have not done this bit. Uh, Brian wasn't kidding in years, right? Uh, I remembered in my head that oftentimes the witty rejoinder did wind up rhyming. Yeah, but it's not. It's not a, a permanent thing. It's yeah, not a requirement, but but <clears throat> and and to be honest, I think both I know I tried to make them rhyme and Justin sometimes tried to make them rhyme, except for when he was breaking from a pattern and he would just say, Kill your dog <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Sure. But the idea is that with every problem, one of us will restate the problem, one of us will solve the problem, and the other will provide the witty oftentimes, but not universally rhyming, re uh, rejoinder. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Uh, so I, I, okay, with that in mind, let's do a practice one. And yeah. by a practice one, I guess we're starting. <laughs> uh, did you did you get a copy of the document, uh, Sarah, by any chance? Uh, yes. Great. Okay. Well, uh, Justin, where do you want to start? Well, we can actually start here uh, with uh, maybe maybe line number five. If, you just, if we just want a, a start, a starting point, just to, like just to one. get everybody uh, uh, into the into the mood here. <laughs> Hold on, this okay. This is, has to be a practice one. Line a practice five. one, yeah. Line five says here. I was recently invited to participate in an internet movie draft with which I was only tangentially familiar, the intricacies, rules, and strategies of which were not really explained to me very well, and that combined with an albeit impressive but intimidating betting interface <laughs> resulted in me buying Blade Runner 2049 for $75. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, Sarah, do you do you want to uh, do you want to summarize the problem, or do you want to solve the problem, or do you want to do the witty rejoinder? You're a bad person. I would. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do a rejoinder. Wait, unfortunately, the only contact we have is Twitter.com/slash Sarah Lane. So I'm going to assume that. Uh, that... Oh, hey, we can call. We can call that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh wait, we can. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, I think I think she just put us on hold, uh, Bryce. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's weird. She, here we, oh, wait, what? No! No! Oh, click. Hello? Problem solver. Ah, so you got involved with the show where everybody... Uh, you, 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 did a, you did a thing and you had an oopsie and you paid too much for Blade Runner. You need to uh, just uh, tell somebody about it, and if you didn't, then shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine, more like. Uh, what are you doing? I, I'm well. I, she she can't. She, she can't. was taking the witty, the, the witty yeah, rejoinder. But she's also the subject of it. She, okay. It is the practice round. I just made it so weird. See, yeah. I, I'm I'm with I'm with Sarah. That was, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Dude, we Mid got season it. Form. We got Mid it. Mid-season form. We got Where it. We're ready. <laughs> we got it. 
All real right, let's good, guys. Let's pick it. Let's pick a real one. Oh, batting a thousand already. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. This <laughs> is a real one. Line thirteen. <clears throat> it says, "I inherited." an old Lionel train from the 1940s that is worth a little bit of money. When I was young, I never got to play with it because it was, quote, not a toy. Now I'm older, I don't have much desire to play with it, and even if I did, there isn't a ton of room at my place. So my sister asked if she could buy it for her husband, and I said yes. After I pulled it out of storage, I remember how cool it was, and I found a nice place on my mantle for it. It looks great. Problem is now I want to keep it, but I told my sister she could have it. How do I engineer keeping it for myself, or should I conduct myself like an adult and agree to our arrangement? I look forward to hearing which track <laughs> I should take. Uh, I think I can solve this easy peasy. Really? Yeah. All right. So, Sarah, what do you want to take? Uh, I'll do the rejoiner. Okay, right on. All right, I'll summarize this problem for him. So we're gonna give yeah. this person a call. We're gonna we're gonna sneak attack him uh -huh. with some advice. All right, here we go. We're calling this yeah. person now. <sighs> them on the By the way, these are real people. We are calling random people. Yes, uh, that have yes. submitted their problems. <laughs> if you are just watching this live, this isn't a bit. Like we are calling random. Hello. People. <laughs> so you're a big. Fat Indian giver. Oh, hey, have a train. Psych? No, not so much. Punch yourself in the face and say it got stolen from you by ninjas. <laughs> train town ain't going down. Problem solved. <laughs> All, right. All right, we got this. We got this. <laughs> train town ain't going down. There we go. There we go. Right. That was the worst advice I've ever given. <laughs> Train ain't going down. Uh, uh, I mean, listen. There's one thing that ninjas love. It's trains, man. They can't get enough of them. They're, They're always crazy. Bottle trains, real trains. Love. Come on, ride the train. The Quad City DJs were all ninjas. <laughs> Little known fact. All right. All right, Justin. Which one do you want to do all next? Right. Uh, how about this? Let's, uh, 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 let's go ahead and do line number 11. Okay. Uh, uh, you uh, my wife that? and I live in Canada. She wants to take uh, a trip to visit her family for Thanksgiving, but they live in a fascist dictatorship that's hostile to foreigners like me. <laughs> how do I survive a trip to visit the in-laws in Pennsylvania? So they want to go from, uh. <laughs> From, from Canada to Pennsylvania, and he's worried about how to survive Pennsylvania. Man, uh, that's that's a that's a look of all the people to cause trouble. It seems like Canada, you're in the best place to, to make a, 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 a statement, right? Like, I mean, what are they going to do? Kick you back into Canada? Uh, well, you know, I mean, I think that there's, uh, you know, maybe some, some, uh, some culture shock, you know, you're living up there drinking syrup every day and, uh, uh, looking at a loony in you're, your pocket. And you're like, lunging a boot, waiting, promising yeah. to pay him back tomorrow. You know, you're just, you're just communicating with each other in a series of clicks, whistles, and sorries, and, you know, like normal Canadians. Yeah. You're building your giant uh, maple leaf robot that's that's designed to guard the American Canadian border. You know, you're just friends with Rick Moranis. Like, there's just a lot of things that are normal in Canada that are not normal in America. So maybe, maybe, maybe this person should hide all of that stuff and uh, maybe behave more American while while he's there. Oh, that's it. Tuck it. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'll give I'll give that answer. Uh, wait, uh, I'll take the answer on this one. Uh, Sarah, do you want to summarize, or do you? I uh, no, 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 you you summarize an all witty rejoinder because you just witty rejoinder. Uh, okay. All right, we're gonna give this person a call. All right, we're gonna call them up. Let's see if they answer. Hello. Problem solvers. So it turns out that you need some help from the problem solvers. <laughs> Yeah, man. Why don't you just act like more American? Punch everyone, take whatever you want, and poop on the internet. Love it or maple leaf. <laughs> I feel like we're doing good. Oh. oh my god, that was so intense. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sarah, I feel like you didn't know what the problem was. <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? <laughs> Let's just roll. Uh, w- w- would you like to pick one of the problems here? Uh, 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 we have like, what, 2 to 25. Uh, sure. Which one you like? Uh, hold on a second. How about this? How about how about number four? Do you like number four? Wait, hold on a second. Okay. I can't, I can't see this anymore. <laughs> Fresh, stop. Uh, so okay, so Justin though, like a thousand bugs, and you're still cool with it? Salt in your potatoes? Uh, hey, listen, man, I don't care how many uh, how many lives I got on this. Have you piece. tried shooting anyone in the face or the eyes with it? Please I don't, don't know. Can you just look at what, what would that look like? I mean, don't actually do it, but just point it right at Bryce. Like, if you were going <laughs> to. Do not do that. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad. You shouldn't do even joke. Yeah, with uh, that, that. Was a, that was a reference to the Nerf bit that we did years ago. Go! You're killing me. You're killing me. That's also, two. you got two. Two, you're not ready for the front pages. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Sarah, you, you got uh, you got anything you, you like there? Guys, I can't find it. <laughs> uh, you can't find the doc. All right, then we, we can we can handle we can handle the doc, and we'll just tell you what the problems are. How yeah, we got All you right. back here. Uh, uh, line fourteen says, "I live on a street where the townhouses across the street are closer to the street that my address is on. Have an address with the same number as mine, but their address is on the next street over. About twenty percent of my packages never show up." And I'm pretty sure they get delivered across the street. But when I go over to ask them, they say they haven't seen them. Neighbor stealing mail thanks to an address quirk. That's that's a a dirty pool. I mean, I have an idea on how to fix it, but I think it's my turn to do the witty rejoinder. Yeah, it might be. Uh, Sarah, do you want to? uh, I guess you would have to. You'd have to solve the problem here, Sarah. If we're if we're we're rotate. I I could I could I could restate it. (laughs) <laughs> okay, cool. All right, then, then you go ahead and restate it. I'll solve the problem. All right, here we go. All right. Sounds good. All right, we're giving them a call now. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Problem solvers. So it turns out that you got a lot of stuff from Amazon, but it turns out that they're 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 putting your your package uh, uh, across the street. Your package is your own, brother, and if they don't give it back to you, you give it to them. Uh, steal their packages, split it with the UPS guy. Problem solved. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty straightforward. This one wrote that's itself, That's a good right? one. Mail fraud. Yeah. That's just, listen. If, if, <laughs> It's that's when uh, yeah, it's that old. Uh, uh, what is the old? Uh, you know, that's our way, the Chicago way. They steal a letter, we steal an Amazon package. <laughs> they, they steal a Roomba, we steal a Wii. <laughs> uh, it seems to work for me. Uh, all right, Justin, what? Which one you wanted to do next? Ooh, I kind of like. Uh, here's another uh, 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 holiday one. Uh, line ten. Uh, my family won't let me bring my cat home with me for the holidays. I have a hard time visiting without her, and she's been welcome in the past, but my family now has their own cat. While I have offered to keep mine in the bedroom with me at all times, they still refuse. How can I get these two kitties to get along? Oh, oh, that's yeah. so cute. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, Sarah, this, this one is, is made for you to have the witty rejoinder. I think Unless she you want to probably solve the has problem. advice, yeah. Well, okay. I mean, what do you guys think? I could solve the problem. Yeah, I think right, she should solve, solve the you problem. You solve the problem. I'll, I'll, I'll do the witty rejoinder. All right, All right. I'll restate it. Here we go. Ready? All right. Calling now. Ring, ring. Oh, it actually rang. Oh, it doesn't make the noise anymore. Yeah, it does. No, the boop, boop. Oh, this is a phone call. Hello? Hello? Oh man, you're just drowning in pussy and you don't know what to do. 
Here's what you do. You get your cat and your mom's cat, your friend's cat, whatever, and you get them in the cat puddle, and then you deal with it. Pussy puddle! <laughs> pop that pussy. Boom, pop that pussy. <laughs> Okay. It's great advice. <laughs> I feel like we're really changing lives. That's not where I thought you were going with all of this. I thought there was going to be good, you know. I, I think there was great advice. Are you kidding Nailed me? Nailed it. Just the throw them all in a puddle. Good. It was you guys. Let, so. let, them, let them work it out. Let them work it out. Pop it. Pop the pussy cats. <laughs> pop, that, pop that pussy problem. Wait, wait, wait. This sounds like a song. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a song that we're quoting. It is a very oh. specific song. <laughs> now I feel really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Brian, what, what, do you, what do you like here? <laughs> uh, I like number 14. We already did it, though. <laughs> so let me do number 16. Oh, okay. Number six. Oh, look at this. This is another one. And and thank God we have Sarah on. Of course, if you're not familiar with with uh, uh, Sarah's work, since we're we're talking to so many new people, you can uh, you can uh, download the Daily Tech News Show, which on Thursdays both me and Sarah are on, and Sarah's on uh, uh, every day of the week. But it is the best technology podcast you can listen to. And this right here, Brian, is a technology question, right? Yeah. No, it's great. It says I have an iPhone 10, but if I return it, I can upgrade my Apple Watch, my headphones, and my bedroom curtains. My my wife says I should keep it because I'm such a fanboy. What do I do? Oh, so it's a very expensive phone, and they can take all that money and, and do a lot of good with it, or they can just have a very expensive phone. Uh, but, Brian, I, I feel like uh, like I can restate this problem. All right. I feel like I could solve this problem. I could do a Woody Rejoiner. All right. All right. All right. Let's now, give this person a call. Can you feel that? Now we're in the groove, baby. Now we're in the groove. We, all we had to do was pop it. Hello? Problem solvers. You got an iPhone X, but you can give it back to them for big cash. Hey, man, you may have a life that matters in a loving relationship, but I swear to God, you'll be hollow and dead inside if you get rid of that iPhone 10. <laughs> iPhone 10, get rid of it. <laughs> Problem solved. I think I think Sarah just told him to kill himself. <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, if you're gonna look at all the things together, Brian said that you'd be hollow and dead inside, and Sarah said, "Please become hollow and dead inside." Oh! <laughs> I just it felt right at the time. <laughs> hey, listen, man. There's no wrong way to solve a problem. That's a fact. Wait, wait. Is curtains a euphemism for something? <laughs> yes, it means uh, <laughs> schmertens. <laughs> I, I got nothing. Mm. Uh, uh, all right, I, I feel like we got we got room for probably two or three more, right? Yeah, here we go. We got one that says, uh, line 20 says, I got a $282 traffic ticket for a rolling stop in the middle of nowhere at 12.20 a.m. And it's fucking bullshit. That shit's fucked up, man. Uh, yeah, all right, so two hundred eighty dollars to have a ticket for rolling stop. Oh, yeah, that's, I mean, if, if he didn't get popped for a DUI, I mean, that's assuredly what they were probably trying to stop for, right? And he just got popped for a random infraction. That's like, that's like yeah, it's like they're like, they're like the, the cop meant to say like, oh, this is really awkward. I, I was hoping you were drunk, but you seem really sober and now i don't want you to kind of embarrassed for pulling you over yeah because we be definitely easier. weren't just trying to hawk for duis so we gotta do something here yeah, are you you see my problem maybe i maybe you could just take this ticket and have it not be yeah. i mean unless you'd want to go get drunk and start driving that would make my life <laughs> i mean that would be easier. that would be win 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 uh for for <laughs> county revenues uh, but you know i don't want to push you in there uh, uh, all right, I, I guess I'm I'm up for either solving or witty rejoinder. I think I think I'm up for for, for a witty rejoinder, so I can I can take that. All right, then uh, do you want to do you want to solve this or or, or restate? Uh, by it? the way, uh, a new name here in the chat, Ho Nuts uh, <laughs> asks, uh, did he ask for cash? Unknown at this point. <laughs> Ho Nuts in the chat. <laughs> Wait, so hold on. 
He's on the hook for $220? $282 for a ticket for a rolling stop in the middle of the night. Yeah. And he he says that's BS. Justin says it's pretty clear the guy was just trolling for for DWIs and and was pulling him over on a soft violation. Well, I I could restate. Okay, all right, all right. I'll solve this. I got this. All right, all right. Two hundred eighty-two. Right. We're calling them now. <laughs> calling escape. <laughs> oh, he doesn't do the beeps because we turn all the sounds off. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 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 This is a great bit. <laughs> Pick up your phone. This is great. Ah, oh, boo! Oh, oh I'm sorry, Matt. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here, let, let, let's just let's just keep it going here. Uh, 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 line number twenty-three. Uh, the ex and I blacked out when drinking last week, and apparently she called me. I can't believe I answered. I woke up with homemade porn on my phone. Uh, and then he says, I mean, she dropped my cat off in the middle of nowhere. Wait, so I, I, I don't know whether that part, last what, part is a what, euphemism. What, what does that mean? Well, but apparently he, uh, he got very drunk, called his uh, girlfriend. She was also very drunk. And when he woke up in the morning, homemade pornography there on, on the phone. Now, do you think it's well, one-sided? What does the cat have to do with it, though? I know. Poor yeah, I, I don't. I, I'm. I'm taking that. That is a. It's just a poorly worded euphemism. Uh okay. But but do you think the pornography is is like like he was sexting with her, or that they she came over and they hooked up and he didn't remember it? Uh no. I I. I oh, I don't know. They see. They, it sounds to me like he got hammered, drunk, dialed his ex, and the two of them started having sexy talk. And and, he's, and now now he has homemade pornography of the two of them. No, oh, I figured of just one of them. It sounded to me like a sexting thing, like just sending oh, pictures okay, of, gotcha. of his. Yeah, yeah. His so, so they were not together. It was just you know some, maybe some back and forth naughty shots. But how together. did how did she get a hold of the cat? Oh wait, Mike TV says that he thinks. She sent over a video of her having sex with somebody else. I like, feel like there's a lot of questions we could just ask this person. But that's can, not the can, 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 we, can we break with like, protocol? We, can we solve this. We just need to know more. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Uh, Bryce, don't okay. don't let him know it's us. I need you to. Uh, you. I need you to affect some character. Don't don't <laughs> don't let him know. Don't let him know that it's not attack calling. Wait, 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 but wait. Just, I know. Just... I know. This is this is what you do, Bryce. You call him up and you say, "Hi, I'm from so and so vet down the street from where you live, and we found a cat that's been microchipped and it it has your name on it." Sure. So yeah. Like, so let's see how that goes. So like, why <laughs> is your cat out you're wandering? Doing it as as Buttermus Wind. What am I? What am I trying to get out of this person? And then you go. More, more way, details. We need. We need more to work we with. Just ask them their no, 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 no. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. I need you to gather the evidence. Don't let. Yeah. Him, don't Bryce, let them know it can't be us. It that it's us. It can't be us. It can't be us. All right. All right. We just need you. Wait, Here, wait. Don't we have we're to tell them we're recording? No, no, no. We don't. We don't have to do nothing. It's the internet. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, we'll all mute our mics. And I need to find out. Just gather what you can. Say just whatever, whatever it takes. you can. Just Listen, whatever it man, takes. Right. Don't, this don't is drag why us you into went it. To journalism school. <laughs> don't, don't, don't drag us into it. Just uh, get what you can. Get what you can. Don't mention that it's you. For the love of God, don't mention it's you. <laughs> okay. Uh, here, here we go. Shh. Be cool. Be cool. I have no idea. <laughs> Tell him it's pussy party. Shut up, Shut the fuck up. up. You're live on. Shh. Pop Shh. it. Pop it. Pop the pussy. Hello. Uh, hello. This is uh, Dr. Gregory from uh, uh, from uh, Central Vet. I, I had a couple of questions about your uh, your your the, the cat that you dropped off uh, last week. Are you are you available to talk? Yeah, I am. Uh, great. Uh, I we, well, we we noted some signs of trauma. Can you can you explain what happened on the night that you found your cat? Oh, uh, well, I'm still looking for it. I assume you found it. Oh yeah, yes. We 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 found it. Can you explain what you were doing the night of uh, last weekend? Oh yeah, uh, that was kind of regrettable. So <laughs> my ex called me, and she wound up coming over. Uh huh. Yeah, and um, 
funny when you black out and wake up with videos of it on your phone. That's fucking weird, man. Now, were were you in the videos of the phone, or was this somebody else? Uh, no, it was definitely us. Oh, I, I see. Okay, that's very important. I'm going to write that down on the chart here. Of, of the owner here. Uh, oh, sorry, I got to go. Bye. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Nothing's no, been solved. No, 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 nothing's solved. All that was all background. All back. That was all background. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you guys, this was not well planned. <laughs> I still gone. His cat, it's not his cat. <laughs> Whose cat is oh, it? Oh, no. Maybe he is missing a cat. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go by. <laughs> I found your cat oh, just kidding. Yeah. Now I feel, that was my idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now we, we, we got to call him and fix this. But we gotta... By the way, Brussel Berry in the chat says, the worst part is that it worked. <laughs> Well, I love that. I love that you could tell for like a minute he wasn't quite sure what was going on, and then he immediately got it. Uh, um, all right, so here's what we know. Tony B. All Zeddy. of this apparently is true. The ex came over. Yeah. They had sex. They recorded amateur pornography of themselves, and then she let his cat out, and the cat is really missing. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, oh. Okay, that makes sense. So. <laughs> How do we help him find his cat? Uh, I hope so. I feel bad. Uh, that I, I can witty. I can witty rejoinder this. <sighs> I I feel like Sarah would have the most substantive actual advice <laughs> about which park. <laughs> <laughs> about well, I mean, she's more familiar with cats than the two of us, and also uh, is uh, more familiar Stop with. Stop it! Don't get. I mean, don't yes, get. Are you ready for yes, the front page can, three times? I can give advice. Yeah, yeah. If, Brian, I, I can so do. Brian's allergic to cats. So. <laughs> okay. All yes. Right. There I'll, we I'll go. That's right. a very good reason for that. Mm. All right. We're going to call him back. <laughs> Can't wait to give this guy some advice. <laughs> we got it. We got it. <laughs> the best. Problem solver. So you went back to the Stone Age and engaged in a little bartering, bartering, trading pussy for pussy. You know what? <clears throat> you love your girlfriend, want to have some sex, love your cat, want to have the cat be in the mix. That's cool. <laughs> no matter who took the video, microchip that long hair next time. <laughs> Problem solved. We love you. <laughs> this is a great bit. This is the worst of ours. Don't send in lost pet things, people. That's it's awkward. Really <laughs> bad advice. I mean, they were they were mostly on target with what we were looking for. <laughs> Microchip that long hair. <laughs> That's what you do with cats, right? By the way, when you're if you're listening, would you please let us know when Fluffy comes home? Yeah, yeah. please. Yeah, uh, mail not, it. Not to the chat room says, wait, the cat took the video. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. That's how crazy it was. Uh, all right, I, I think we have one more, Brian. Uh, do, you, do you see one more? Do I uh, do, do that uh, line twenty four there? What do you think, line twenty four? Um, okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to read it? Yeah, it says, I'm going to visit my boyfriend in California in a few weeks, and I want to enjoy some, quote, recreational fun while I'm there. However, I work in the health industry, and I get drug tested regularly. Should I risk my job for a few puffs? Also, how do I get edibles back in my carry-on? Oh, ooh. I have some uh, advice for that. Oh, great. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, Justin, you want to restate the, the problem I for can, him? I can, I can, I can restate. Uh, uh, sure. All right. I think we're ready to go. Mm-hmm. Good old-fashioned ring. Ring. Before you die, you hear the rings. <laughs> Pick up the goddamn 
you liked it, you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> Hi, this is Lucy. We be my- Oh yeah, all right, we got it. Problem solved. At the tone, please record oh, your message. When you have finished recording, oh. you may hang up. What, th- or it's press clearly not recording. <laughs> Problem solvers. Uh, hey man. So, with your message, press one to listen to your message. Press two to erase and re-record. Press three to continue recording where you left off. Press four. <sighs> what would we have said <laughs> had she answered? Uh, no, we got to do one more. We got to do. We got to do one more. We got to. We got to. We got to run this. Run this baby out. Uh, uh, here we go. How about. How about this one? Um. Oh, geez, that one's problematic. Uh, <laughs> how about this? My, my, my job has some really annoying work conditions, bad air quality, vastly inconsistent heat and AC, lots of noise and no sick days. How do I confront HR or my boss without coming off like a rude complainer? Oh, man, let's let's take the same positions and, and rock this. All right, so uh, am I restating? Yeah, or you're, you're restating. Okay. Uh, Sarah, you got a, you got an answer for him? Uh uh, sure. Okay. okay. All right. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Now we're, we're calling him. <laughs> I swear to God, pick up. Yellow. Problem solvers. Your job Hello? sucks. <laughs> oh, is that me? Uh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> when you think about it, that means I really said that all that we needed to say. There's a thing going on. Guys, damn it. <laughs> nailed it. We nailed it. Oh, my God. I'll tell you what. So much good advice. Uh, that is, uh, that is, that is the best. All right. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, people are saying one more. I mean, I think we could do one more. Just one more. I think, I mean, like, uh, is this us? Like, like, uh, like, I don't know. Do you guys want an encore? <laughs> like, we got to go out on a win. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Sure Line nine says my roommate just got engaged and has decided that him and his fiance want to start off 2018 as a couple. So they're kicking me out. I'm at an odd crossroads, having only lived with roommates for most of my adult life. Do I get an apartment by myself, look into a new place with other roommates, or do I finally bite the bullet and buy a place of my own? Help me, problem solvers. You're my only hope. Ooh. Ooh. That's a, you know, that's an adult question. That is an adult question. All right, Sarah, you want to you restate it? Uh, and then, Brian, what, what do you want to do? Rejoinder or, or, or solve it? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rejoinder it. I'll punch out. You'll punch out? Okay, I will, I will solve this person's problem. All right. All right, let's do it. All right, we're calling this person now. Hello. Problem solvers. Hey, so you've got a roommate, and the whole roommate situation is, you know, they're doing their married thing, and you're trying to figure out what you're doing with your life as well. Hey, loneliness will stalk you wherever you go. Beg and plead to become a part of the relationship. (laughs) Uh, Threesome is the way. If not, you can always go gay. It, 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 it'd be better. It'd be better with. I don't know. That's, right. yeah, I, I don't know the if that button, was a punishment the, silence no, I received. The button didn't work. It's, oh, <laughs> I thought. I thought in my mind it, it was just Bryce just slowly shaking his head, <laughs> like mm. I can do both. <laughs> Get a man who can do both, Bryce. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. I feel like we are back uh, in in a big way. Uh, we have introduced so many people to problem solvers. Uh, Sarah Lane, it, it was like coming home again to have you uh, a part of the team. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, uh, well, these days I do Daily Tech News Show every day, Monday through Friday. So DailyTechNewsShow.com. Please support us. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, listen, watch, all that good stuff. 
I, I ain't lying. It's the best place. If you care about technology at all, you got to be a part of that team. It's a whole new show since Sarah's come on, and uh, I am super pumped. Also, everybody can follow you at Sarah Lane on Twitter, right? Uh, correct. Sarah, correct. you are a champion, and you are all that's right with the internet and the world at large. Thank you so very, very much for joining uh -huh. us. Thanks, uh, guys. I appreciate every moment of your time. Uh, Thanks. Absolutely. Uh, Thanks. Shall we, uh, thank you so much, Sarah. Uh, shall we dive in to the moment we've all been waiting for? Oh, I thought you were going to play the Cars for Kids song. Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> let's do the movie draft minute. Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of November 13th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. But what do you know? The board looks different today. I wonder what's changed. Let's go find out. Team Frog Pants are in sixth place, still waiting for the first film. Team Big and Tall is in fifth place with $111.9 million. Team Feline is in fourth place with $149.1 million. Team Jury is in third place, $185.6 million. Team Champions are in second place with Daddy's Home 2 and Murder on the Orient Express both bringing in $31 million, bringing their total to $219.6 million. And in first place, a whopping $247.6 million is Team Cord Killers. And that is your Move Minute for the week of November 13th, 2017. Justin, this game is a travesty uh, against the American population, and we never should have created it. Um, mm. It's the worst thing ever. It's unwinnable. Oh, wait. Hold on, Team Champions. What are you guys champions of? Champions? Uh, I, we're, we're, I mean, uh, be, beating you so far, apparently. I mean, for now. Mm. Uh, right, right up until I, I, I give you, give you guys the, the, the Coco. I got, <laughs> yeah. I got, I, how, I, I how much? My fist co. How much? How much money do you think Coco is gonna make? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the, nothing that Pixar does makes under two hundred million. Well, that's our operating thesis, but uh, from the marketing on Coco, we may be in for a surprise. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but you think you think uh, it's not uh, people aren't aren't into it, but there's uh, not really a lot else that's coming out family wise on on Thanksgiving. Uh, no, I'll t I'll tell you this much: um, uh, you're gonna defeat us. Uh, Team champions gonna end up like third or fourth place, and number one will be Frog Pants, and beyond that, it's fairly difficult for me to really care. I think Cord Killers, um, Cord Killers is actually the number two to beat. I think because they they killed it with Thor Ragnarok. That was a good pick. And Wonder is going to make them some decent money. And The Greatest Showman will theoretically make some money. Um, you know, I think I think they're on track to hit, uh, what, at least $400 million, $450 million, which means they'll only slightly get crushed by frog pants when they take home 85% of $600 million plus. I mean, the buzz on that Star Wars movie is pretty good. I mean, apparently it's good enough that they gave the director three more movies <laughs> that are not the original or the trilogy that they're doing so is, is, is that a dog whistle vote of confidence that they're giving like they're specifically like the timing you know the decision of course was made behind the scenes and whatever but the timing of the announcement feels to me like they're kind of announcing loudly but quietly loudly whispering that it's a good movie and don't worry about it. I don't think it's a dog. It's as much of a dog whistle as your parents throwing you a birthday party shows that they love you. <laughs> like I think that they are they are doing a big gigantic public vote of confidence that we love this movie so much we entrust this person to take a whole nother gigantic. Uh, I mean because this will basically take over for you know seven eight nine when nine is over. It's just going to be a now. Ryan Johnson, you're Star Wars now. Go. Yeah. No, it's going to be huge. I'm pretty stoked about it. I uh, I, I, I am um, publicly, people are mad on Twitter saying that that I don't love Star Wars enough or the right way. And they're they're calling me out. Uh, but I what do am. What does it sound like? What does that what does that sound like if people are calling you out and yelling at you? <sighs> 1-800-CARS-FOR-KIDS, K-A-R-S. <laughs> there we go. Tell you what, they weren't there. They weren't there in the trenches. The way I was there when we stood out in the cold all day to go see the prequels. Yeah, sure. Not just one. 
But two, I mean, because this, we uh, trusted. We, we, we can't, we can't. Uh, look, mm. man, you can only blame mm. Lucy for the football so many times. And at some Wait, point, you start Bonnie, blaming no, no, Charlie no, no. I Brown. I like this. Bonnie criticizes a uh, 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 movie Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so Just wait, Bonnie, uh, 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 you feel like the people that are that are criticizing Brian have not seen the prequels or, or don't know that they're garbage. They have not seen the love for Star Wars from Brian's eyes the way <laughs> she's I seen, she's have seen, seen the, the love. Eyes. Yeah, she's uh, seen the, the eyes go dead. <laughs> they went over dead. It was so sad. <laughs> the poor child. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's one uh, eight seven seven cars for kids. Yeah. No, I definitely uh, uh, the life has been crushed out. I I don't trust anything. So, but well, uh, I'll tell you what. When when you think about the light being crushed out and and love being just a uh, uh, an antiquated concept, uh, you often uh, think of Diamond Time. Diamond Time is where you can shout out your project right here on the show. It's the opposite of everything I just said because everybody. Uh, gets a chance to shout out their project if you go on over to our Reddit. That is reddit.com slash r slash diamond club. For all the noobs, that's what we call ourselves. We're uh, definitely not a cult. Uh, and we definitely uh, shout out uh, things like uh, Baka no Baka, who says, Greetings, Diamond Club. I wanted to once again plug a podcast that a buddy and I do where we speak to the heart of all fandom, both hither and yon. It's called The Fan Cram Showdown. We tear it up each week in a head-to-head trivia slugfest after a week of binge-watching a select TV show or film. Once the dust settles and a winner is declared, we gaily hold hands and tumble down the rabbit hole of fan-made content to discover just how deep you geek. We dive in just about everything from Stranger Things season, uh, from anime to Stranger Things season two. If you want to find us wherever podcasts are sold, go ahead and hit us up bit.ly slash fancram. Thanks for all you do, Jared, a.k.a. Baka no Baka. Uh, and also from Waffleophagus, hey, Diamond Club, do you like Hearthstone but wish instead of grinding cards into dust you could just buy the damn cards you want? Then check out Hex Shards of Fate. It's a game that Justin has been trying to play for a while now. If I say it enough times, one day it'll be true. It's on Steam, Mac, PC, runs perfectly on Wine and PS4. It's a really rad game. It has an extensive player versus player tournaments with multiple thousand dollar cash prize events per week, as well as extensive single player modes as well. And there's a new set coming out this week or possibly next week. Check it out at www.hextcg.com. So now would be a great time to try it out. Check the game out, and if you like it, hit up my store to buy some cards over at Battleshopper.com and use promo code Diamond Club. That's less than, greater than, at checkout for 10% off your first order. Note, due to Sony bullshit, you can't buy from my store on the PS4 yet. Ooh, eat a billion donkey balls, Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Andrew J. Leather says, hey, Diamond Club, AndrewJL.com. My business is Andrew J. L. Leather. I make custom leather cigar cases. I made one for Jerry and Spearman Nitrate. I'd love to make one for you, too. Check out my latest case. It's a shark. Nom, nom, nom. That is, uh, yeah, there's not a great uh, thing to say. Uh, go go to, uh, uh, what's it called? Go to, go to uh, Diamond Time to go find the link there. Over the past years, I've made a bunch of custom hand-tooled cigar cases. 16 for Perdomo Cigars. The owner, Nick Perdomo, ordered these cases for his reps. I've recently added some skulls and tentacle leather cuffs to my store. I use premium leather and Spanish cedar. Lie in all the cases. Pretty much any image or design I can put on a case for you. So, Please start smoking cigars and order a case now. This business is my third job trying to support my family. I work 40 hours during the week to repair arcade games. I work at Lowe's unloading trucks at night. And in my free time, I work on leather orders. Plus, I'm type 1 diabetic and I've got a lot of medical bills to pay. Thanks. It is uh, andrewjl.com. Again, andrewjl.com. And that ain't no uh, jive, folks. He has... Uh, given me a, a case, and I bought one for Spearman Nitrate. It is super awesome work, high quality stuff. Hey, Go ahead and pick it up. Now I tell you, I hear a lot of you guys out there saying, like, you know, that part where he recommended that we start smoking cigars. Um, I felt like that was a great idea, but I'm intimidated by cigars. Won't somebody hold my hand and teach me how to learn how to cigars? Uh, to which I say, why not subscribe now to the Modern Rogue, just in case some upcoming episode in the next month or two covers <laughs> that for you. You never know. You never know. Absolutely. You absolutely never know. And also, 
while you're subscribing to the Modern Rogue, if you live in the Pennsylvania area, specifically the eastern Pennsylvania area, you can go ahead and make sure that you come to my live show this Saturday at Shot Tower Coffee, Saturday, November, uh, uh, yeah, November 18th, 7 p.m., you can come see me live. I'm doing my politics, politics, politics show, an oral history of the Monica Lewinsky scandal through my young eyes at the time. It is going to be an absolute blast. I'm so looking forward to seeing everybody. Again, that is this Saturday, November 18th, Philly, Pennsylvania, uh, 7 p.m. Shot Tower Coffee. How, how long are you out there total for the whole trip? Like, are you going out the day before? You're going to... You're gonna, uh get situated and and then have an all day uh, yeah, day. Yeah, well I'm there for Pax Unplugged uh which is the Pax for uh, uh tabletop games because I'm giving a talk with my co-creator of the Contender in Action News, John Teasdale. Uh we are doing our talk on a uh, Friday at 3 p.m. And then uh, the next day, Saturday, 7 p.m., I'm doing the uh, live show. So it's going to be a great time. Dude, right on. I'm, I'm super excited about that. Uh, man, I feel like we, we, we hit the big stuff. You, you ready to slide into to post show over here? We're ready to wrap up the premium gig? Man, am I ever. Let's go ahead and, uh, and, and wrap, wrap this thing up. One more time, a big round of applause for Sarah Lane. Oh, uh, thanks, guys. Sarah, you're the best. Uh, I feel like we learned a lot. We learned that um, you could trade your cars and be given children in exchange. Indeed. Trade your cars uh, for kids. We learned uh, uh, that uh, uh, the very, very uh, life lessons. <laughs> life lessons for sure. Uh, uh, learn that uh, uh, the the best man to get the information out is uh, uh, the doctor veterinary Steve, who can call. <laughs> yeah, we learned story out of anybody. Correctly. We also learned that uh, that Bryce has a promising career in investigative journalism. <laughs> Uh, but most of all, we learned that uh, that being on the front page of Twitch is just an excuse for us to make bigger asses of ourselves than usual. We love Absolutely. you guys. <laughs> Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Of Drano. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>